if you feel like you're so reactive in your schedule but you don't feel productive enough or maybe you feel like your mind is so full so that you always feel busy but you actually don't do anything productive at that moment because you don't know what's going on what to do about it although you already evolved but this time it's even deeper and it's meant to teach you something about yourself this is a reminder for you to come back home to come back whole by acknowledge what is going on within you integrating all parts of you in this episode i will share with you how to work on that when you are experiencing this point and how to reintegrate yourself so that you can come back whole abundance as you are as they said let's delve into it universe beautiful soul magical being welcome back to this channel with me Cindy Ajo on this channel we share about consciousness vibration energy all beyond and beneath the mundane life to get your transcendent journey so you can shine and serve your higher purpose welcome back to the words of influence community how are you no I don't want to hear I'm fine thank you but really take a pause for a moment so that you can tune into what you really feel energetically in your entire being at this moment it's okay to take pause for a moment before you answer before you respond to some things when you respond consciously you also react consciously when wise people focus on their words conscious people focus on their awareness let's take time to back and in tune with yourself with your intuition recall your humbleness a curious inner child recall to explore what is going on with you now there are some things that can help you unfold what is going on with you such as journal meditation movement and lots of trivial things as what i've shared in previous video about trivial things they aren't that little because they is also awaken your inner child awaken your soul so you can get out from your thinking and take time to feel again to really be conscious about what is going on within you the whole universe exists within you and your outer universe is a reflection of what you are experiencing inside as buddha said what you think you become what you feel you attract and what you imagine you create yes you are that powerful you are the creator of your own reality this is the moment for you to come back home by realizing what's going on within you because where you put your awareness to you put energy into it you put love and light into it and you deserve the awareness the attention and love that you give to others and even give it first to yourself because you can only give to others what you already have inside yes you might already heard about this before but remember that your transcendent journey is about a spiral journey each moment you experience on a deeper level of consciousness so yes the event can seem similar or almost same but what you are experiencing your level of consciousness how you see it the narratives inside you your self-concept constantly evolving let's tune inward back to feeling and come back home this is a reminder for you to back to your feeling instead of thinking not in the sense of choosing heart over mind rather it's the part or step that is necessary to help you think more clearly mindfully and wholeheartedly because you move from a place of heart center 
from a place of transcendence instead of egoic state of mind. As a light worker, by constantly embodying your light and radiance with your unconditional love, let's be clear about the unconditional love itself. Unconditional love doesn't mean tolerance with something that you don't respect something that not respect you as well so this is the importance of setting boundaries because setting boundaries will help you regulate your unconditional love so that you can keep your quality of love the quality of your life that you share that you radiate onto others because reality is self-made is something that you create through your imagination your thought your feeling your emotion, your energy. I will share with you some of things that will remind you to come back home. The first one is by remember that your energy is divine. Once you realize how precious it is, you also realize the importance of nourish it, to regulate it, to recycle it, recharge it, to cleanse it, to keep it sacred. When you feel empty, exhausted or drained or your body is calling you for rest it can be physically it can be mentally energetically emotionally cosmically because we are also connected with all of this whole vast universe everything is divine everything is your body your home is multi-dimension your mental body is also your home in mental dimension or in mind dimension and so on and so forth so you need to remember that whenever you feel empty take time and space to heal and when you already feel full again it's time to rise and shine again take time to regulate it by radiate it share it to others remember that our nature is like water whether you're moving or you're stuck and when you are stuck, it will cause this ease or illness, something that you don't like about yourself, which some things will easily tr lowering your vibration so that you will keep focusing on something that is no longer serving you. It will cause your awareness, your effort, your energy more into something that is not really serving you so let your mind be so focused on wellness because mind that focused on wellness has no time to focus on illness when you're so focused on great things you have no time to focus on lowering others hurt people hurt people heal people heal people so whatever energy that you feel you also send the energy to others and make sure whatever that you do is a byproduct of your heart rather than your environment even though this video you can listen to this video or another source of information or resources but always remember to pay attention to your heart is this something that resonates with my heart is this something that really serves my vibration is this something that i want to become is this something that align with my value with my focus with my attention with my higher self keep checking in with yourself your intuition your higher self keep communicating with you through your intuition through your feelings is the inner compass that is already exists within you so use it because it is there to help you to guide you to lighten your path the second thing you need to know is to tune in intuition it is called intuition with a reason the word intuition itself comes from in and tuition means you keep on learning keep on training by your higher self your higher self already experienced what you wish to become your higher self know that already there so be a good learner position yourself with humble heart with open mind open up to the great unknown to something that it might seem strange it might seem unfamiliar unknown uncertainty keep open up to all of that that's where some magic unfolds the more you realize certainty what you think you know 
what is predictable the more life become much more enthusiast exciting full of challenges wonderful you're awakening your inner child again you experience the wonder you experience something new enjoy the infinite games and get out from bored situation because bored itself is the sign from the universe that you already done or you already finished with the challenge it's the time for your upgradation so that you need another challenge it's time to challenge yourself again to awaken your excitement so that's what it means when you feel bored when you feel like something you just passionate about is no longer serving your vibration is no longer resonate with you at this point it's okay that means you are keep open your mind for something greater for something new and it's okay sometimes your choice doesn't make sense for your environment for others for your outer situation but it's okay what matters is how you feel really what you feel about your life your current situation what do you feel while you're doing it while you think about it while you imagine it while you are it what do you feel about it your feeling is interconnected with the part of your brain called limbic brain the center of your nervous system which is the network of nervous system in your entire body so when you feel good that nervous system produces more dopamine and oxytocin which is the hormones of happiness enjoyment excitement throughout your entire body through your nervous system it's all interconnected so when you feel good you actually send that signals to your brain so your brain can deliver back the happy hormones the enjoyment excitement energy throughout your body so your body and your mind is always interconnected and your brain your nervous system is the divine vehicle instruments that help you manifest your state of being so when you keep instead of enjoyment you're actually invent and invest in your well-being in another word the only way to predict something is to create it because you are the creator of your own reality when you enjoy your moment it's no longer about studying something it's more about learning something when you study you dive into it theoretically but when you learn something you merge yourself with it when you're in a state of constant learning you fit your own inner garden with every information that will activate parts of your brain and the more information that you collect make your brain easier to rewire and to build new connections new network in your brain that connects with one another and so that the more you use your brain or consume something that uplift your mood or fill yourself with something that evolve your state of consciousness it will so helpful for your brain to build a new connections with another network of your brain and when your brain is interconnected with one another the easier for you to simplify things the easier for you to produce solution the easier for you to see reality as it is when you're in state of constant learning your brain will send signals to your body through your automatic nervous system that will become your default state of being at that moment and consistency will send signals to your entire body through your automatic nervous system that it is your state of being it's already merged with your entire body which is your entire body is subconscious mind so that when your entire body read it as your state of being then your habits will become what they really are learning is your natural state because you're a humble student of the universe and when you are at your humble and natural state your higher self is your own teacher the key to in tune with your higher self is enjoyment is your feeling again when you follow your please 
just like in previous episodes where I've shared about follow your bliss, follow your joy, follow the excitement that sets your soul free, alive, breathe easily, you feel you can be totally yourself, go for it, listen to it, keep paying attention to the extraordinary through the ordinary. Magic lies in the mundane, but only the conscious ones can see and in tune with it. Life is a wonderful teacher, so be a wonderful learner. Position yourself and the whole universe provides. The third reminder for you is to be calm, relaxed, and be at ease. When you are calm, you can easily hear your inner wisdom, inner guidance, inner knowing. It's already within you. It's just clouded by your brain fog or unprocessed emotion, perception, assumption, energy, and so many things that is going on within you. So that is so important to keep checking on yourself and keep regulating everything. It's like back to point one, which is to regulate, to check inside but this time you also need to address that you can do it through meditation journaling grounding or to in tune with nature and this is why time is self-made which is also connected with my previous video that time is actually chemical what i mean by chemical here is it based on feeling it based on what you feel it based on your emotion and emotion itself is produced by hormone of happiness excitement joy motivation inspiration enthusiasm and when you deliver all of that to your automatic nervous system then you move not only your brain but also your entire body to a new state of being that is also connected with with your higher self because your joy your bliss your happiness is your natural state inspiration when ideas flow easily it's all your natural state in other words the state of your higher self so it is so important to really feel because when you feel you not only move from a state of thinking based on your ego consciousness or what you think you know instead you move beyond you transcend that thinking that level of thinking and you tune into the state of feeling and being because you no longer need to control everything by your reason to do everything you just be simply be by following what you want to do by following what you want to just be by following whatever it is as long as it is aligned with what intuition has told you always remember to tune inward and feel whatever that you need to feel and it is okay to take pause or take a moment before you respond to every situation when you take pause for a moment you check in within yourself what you actually feel is this something that really aligns with what you want to be is this something that you want to invest and invent is this something that what your higher self wants you to be your intuition and your emotion is the instruments of your higher self to communicate its message its wisdom its insights to you so listen allow all the narratives that need to be processed internally by yourself without codependent with others and after you finish that process alone you can then share more clarity share more benefits share more align narratives align insights because you already do all the inner works internally by yourself remember that what is in you is your own responsibility and your outer reality is just a reflection or projection of what you possess inside when you are calm you declare to your entire universe that you are trust and surrender to the greater power to work the grandest the wonderful magical miraculous way or best case scenario for you 
everything already happened in spiritual or higher realms before it happened crystallized or materialized in physicality and when you are calm when you are calm and relaxed you tune into theta state of mind which is state of relax and state of receiving and open for new information especially for your subconscious mind that is so receptive for information that keep manifesting 24 7 so that you can hear more from higher self that you call as intuition or clairs the clairs you know clairvoyance clair clair audience clair sentience and so many clairs i've shared in another video rather than listen to the unaligned narratives or the old stories that we keep holding on that will keep manifesting as the tendency to control things from the trauma based but when you just surrender you trust the higher power you calm your nervous system you open up your subconscious for be in flow state and then you also prepare yourself you also in tune with the state of ease and effortless because when you live authentically when you just do what you want with what your higher self want because authenticity is associated with your higher self so when you do what your higher self want you to do you're actually position yourself in a state that you already in so that you no longer chasing anything instead you become the magnet of everything that you want to attract the moment you release what no longer serve is the moment you magnetize what's meant to come by cleansing what no longer serves you you are actually purifying your energy realign with your higher self and in tune with that state of being and be magnetized with what is meant for you in its time to the mind that is still the whole universe surrenders the more still your state of mind is the more you can listen to the unspoken when you feel that your mind is full it's time to back up still because when you still you heal or cleanse your mind with the old narratives that no longer serving you so that's all that i want to share in this episode made this episode helpful for you to reconnect with your intuition and thank you for giving yourself time and space to enjoy what you're becoming yet at the same time living your being as always i love you till next time with me, Cindy Ajo. See you again, magical beings.